Hello everyone and welcome to Cooking with Ian. Today we're going to be cooking a cup of coffee. Uh, coffee is one of my favorite things to make when I'm out in my country cooking co kitchen. You know, they, they should really make a script for this show. No, I got no idea what I'm doing. First we're going to need our stove. I use a whisper light. It's pretty swell. Thirty pumps isn't all you need, but it'll make the water boil faster. In all seriousness, you should service your stove at least once a year. Most major brands have it on their YouTube channel. Just how to service MSR Whisper Light or Dragonfly or whatnot. It'll make it run a lot better. Join me. Welcome to my country kitchen, Shane. Oh, hey, everybody. <laughs> oh, hey, everybody. Hi, Mr. Shane. Here's the lighter back. That's a good tip. You should remember that one, whatever it was. Give Shane his lighter back. Otherwise, he'll find you. And he'll get you. I'm not the first Ian. While that's in fire, I'll get my kettle going. I use the MSR Alpine set, but inside, I've got a GSR kettle. It's perfect. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, there she goes. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. We're not actually using lemons here though. Put this on at about six billion degrees for five ten minutes. I use a coffee press for coffee when I'm on the bush. It takes a bit of time, it's a bit more weight, but I actually really enjoy it. And I'm a bit of a coffee connoisseur. I do like coffee. Uh, with the GSI one, you get everything you need for a good coffee press, plus, you get an extra mug. Which is handy if you got a whole crew of people. I just fill it with about a centimeter across the whole bottom of it. That does about a liter. Basically a tablespoon and a half per person or per 500 milliliters will give you a good strong pot of coffee. It's going to take a bit of time. I use a windshield when it's windy. It directs the heat up out of the wind. I don't even know yes. if it's going. Yes, that's what I do as well. Ooh, she's hot. Ooh, she's hot. See? Boiling. Ooh, she's really hot. So I'm going to turn my stove off. Piece of work right there. Ooh. Yeah, that's a good call. How exactly do you go about getting... How do you get that all that? the way up there? I don't know. I can see why they gave up on it, though. Yeah, I would definitely just cut that. Unless you got a monkey man. So, we've got our pot of boiling water, and we've got our cup of deliciously uh, ground coffee beans. Oh, there you go. Man, the lighting director on this show is a genius. It's the sun. Uh, so, I will take my coffee from my boiling pot and into the coffee maker. Oh yeah, there she goes. 
Fun fact, you can actually predict the weather with coffee. It's more about pouring, but if all the bubbles, once I press this, pop really quickly and move to the side of the cup, like over, means that there's a high pressure system in the area and we will have nice weather. So, we will let that sit for about two minutes, if that, stir it around, and then pour it into our coffee cups. And that's how you make coffee. And, oh man, that took a bit of work. So now we got it all lined up, shake it around a bit, and plunge. Nice and proper. Even pressure. There you go, all the way down. Now that we have our coffee plunged, we pour. Oh, and it smells good. There's one, and one for me. Now you'll see over here, almost no bubbles around the rim. And all the ones that do flow out there just pop quickly. Means that it is a high pressure zone. Which means that it's going to be sunny for a while. Yeah. And there you have it. Two perfectly poured cups of coffee. Um, so Ian, so is it the plunging that makes it better than instant coffee? Is that what it is? Yes. Oh, okay. Just check. That and the fact that it's coffee. Oh. <sighs>